Hello and welcome to a Lightning Tools screencast with me Phil Duffy. Today I'll be showing you how you can connect to a web service using BCS Metaman to create your external content type. If I switch to Visual Studio and create a new project and uh, Visual C Sharp SharePoint we have a Lightning Tools category and within there we have BCS Metaman. So I'm going to call this BCS Metaman Web Service Screencast. Click OK. We're going to be deploying it as a farm solution. The URL is already set for us. So this will create the project for us. It will add the BCS Metaman project item for being able to build our model. So when this comes back we can add our service. So if we right click on our project, add service reference, we're using the .NET 2 web reference for this. So we're actually connecting to an AC ASMX. So we'll click one that I've already created and have deployed. If I give this a web reference name, click Add Reference. So you'll see it adds it here in the Solution Explorer. Next, what we'll do is using the BCS Metaman Data Source Explorer, we can select that we want to use a web service, click Connect. And this has brought back the web service from our solution and if we expand it we can see the methods that are available to us. So if I click and drag our finder method gets all customers onto the diagram. We can give our external content type a name so this will be a customer and we've just added a finder method. We'll click OK and you can see it's been added. We'll also go and add a specific finder, so get customer by ID. We're going to select its specific finder and we're going to set that the parameter on our web service method customer ID maps to the identifier ID. Click OK so we see we have our identifier and our two methods and the final thing we'll do is we'll add our get customer IDs which is our ID enumerator click OK. So now that's built, it's, the model has been configured to use our web service, we can click F5 or the play button to build this and deploy to SharePoint for us. So that has deployed successfully, it's opened up our SharePoint environment for us and we can configure this web part that I have added already. So if we view the tool pane, we can view the list of external content types, see the BCS Metaman web service screencast is here, and click OK. And if we click OK again, you will see that we have data coming back from our web service very easy, very simple to get working. So there we have all of our data coming back. So this is how you can use BCS Metaman to connect to a web service very, very simply and easily. Thank you for watching.